Max Carlson gets the ball to start the season off for the Tar Heels on the mound. And the junior righty fires a first pitch fastball to a right-handed hitting Will Gale. Gets into his motion, delivers the payoff pitch, and it must have been low for ball four. So Gale certainly earns the walk. Cloudy skies overhead, a slight breeze blowing towards left as the runner takes off again from second. Bad throw by Frick down the line at third. Horvath has to field it. The 2-0. Hot grounder back through the middle. It gets under the glove of Hawk and into right center field. The run comes in. Gale would have scored whether that ball was kept on the infield or not. And it's a 1-0 Seton Hall lead. Lifted to center field. Honeycutt tracks back, steps forward, reaches up, and records out number three. As well, not just the pitcher. O'Neill's 3-1 pitch, hit between third and short. The diving attempt by Looters, not good enough to keep it on the infield, and it's Carolina's Tomas Frick. As the first pitch to Cook, hits sharply on the ground to second. Sylvester flips to Looters, covering the bag. There's one, and the throw down to first gets Cook. 4-6-3, the 1-1. Off speed and dribbled over to third base, Vieira. From just beyond the infield cut, throws a strike to first base, and Hawk retired 5-3. to three. A righty for a stretch, and is now back to switch hitting this year. And he earns a walk. They're hitting one and two. Pitch misses inside, and Honeycutt takes a walk on four pitches. Wilkerson advances down to second, and Carolina's got the first sniff of a rally all game long. Out to Horvath. O'Neill's pitch off the plate, and the bases are loaded. The 1-1, Grinch, big chopper over to short. Looters to Sylvester for one. Throw down to first and a nice dig out of the dirt by D'Amico. Seton Hall needed one thing in the worst way, and it got it. A ground ball double play. The 1-1. Off speed, came inside and bit him on the hand and the bat. Pekrovsky's shaking his left hand, but... He wants the base, but I could hear that hit the knob. Coach Shepard out of the dugout. Oh. And after a little conversation, home plate umpire Scott Klein points him down to first base. First, Pirates up a run as the first pitch hit over to second base. Hawk gloves it on the line drive, throw to first, not in time, and Pekrovsky gets back. Another payoff pitch to the plate, and a high drive deep towards left field. All Reamer can do is look up and watch this one sail out of the yard. Sylvester goes deep and the Pirates add to their advantage. It is now 3-0 Seton Hall. Three-two fastball, supposed to be in on the hands, got too much plate. The 2-2, change speed, swing and a miss. Ball gets away from Frick, who throws to first, and that is the end of the inning. In the regular season, before winning four straight to clinch the ACC championship, as Stokely takes ball four down to first base. Matchup with State, and that turned into a Carolina title. Have him in town before he has taken off in pro baseball. Bouncing ball gets away from the catcher, Hernandez. Both runners advance for Carolina. Stokely goes down to third base, Frick to second on the game's first wild pitch. Pirates up 3-0. 2-2, Cook. Slow bouncer over to second base. Sylvester throws over to first to get Cook, but that's good enough to drive in a run as Stokely comes in to score, and the Tar Heels have trimmed this deficit now to 3-1. Frick moves down to third base. The 1-1. Grounder over to second. It's booted by Sylvester. A run scores! And Reamer safe at first without a throw. The Pirates needed a double play to get out of the third. The Tar Heels needed some luck to stay at the plate here in the fourth. The 2-2 to Wilkerson. Softly served into center field. It falls in front of Hack. Advancing to second base is Reamer. And Carolina's got its second base hit. It comes with two outs in the fourth. And the heels down 3-2. There's a fastball nubbed over to short. Looters quickly throws to second base with Sylvester covering. And Wilkerson thrown out on the 6-4 fielder's choice. Next pitch low in the dirt, and Luters takes ball four. The 3-1 to Hack. Checked his swing, did he go? No, says the third base umpire, J.R. Brown, and that'll send Hack down to first base. 
for two with an RBI single and a strikeout. First pitch, hammered high towards left. Reimers on the run again, and again with two outs in an inning. Seton Hall flies the fence. This time it's a three-run jack. And those walks come back to haunt Carolina. The Pirates lead 6-2. to two. Most days, that's a routine fly ball out to left, but we just told you the wind really pushing out towards left. The one-two. Fastball off the handle, grounded over to third. Horvath shuffles towards second, throws a dart to first base, and that big target of Hunter Stokely an inning ago. And did what he needed to do as Horvath sends a high fly ball. This has got some carry. Deep right center field and out of here. Quick answer. Most importantly for Carolina, it's the right answer. Horvath, after a career year last year with 18 dingers, they go brought to you by Lowe's Foods, supporting home runs and home plates since 1954. Shines pitch, and it's ball four just outside, and Carolina has another base runner. The 3-1 ground ball left side. It'll get through. Grintz holds up at third base. That's a good call, I think, by Coach Forbes. You don't want to run yourself out of an inning. There's nobody down. The bases are loaded. Strikes to Cook with the bases loaded. The pitch, bouncing ball up the middle. This again will get to second. Flip to Luters, covering second. And Cook, he hits into his second double play. He gets his second RBI as Grins comes in to score. Cook wants a review of that. It was close at first base, and the umpires will quickly come together. This is the difference between two down and a runner at third or one out and runners at the corners for Austin Hawk. Either way, the inning will continue. But, Kyle, if you're a Carolina fan, you like your chances a lot better with two aboard and just one down, don't you? Yeah, you'd much rather have the, the corners instead of just a runner on third. Seems to be coming to life in the middle innings as we do get confirmation that Cook is indeed out, and it goes down as another 4-6-3 GDP. From the right side, Shines fastball misses away, and there's another free pass as the Pofftown native. The 2-2 to the plate, and Reamer slams that pitch high and deep to right. The wind, though, keeps it in the park, and the play made by McNelly on the warning track. Oh, boy. That ball jumped off the bat, but just went to die with the wind blowing in the wrong direction. Plate with two down and the base is clear. First pitch, walloped into left field. It's high, and I don't know if Reamer has any idea where the ball is. It bounces on the warning track and then skips over the fence. Right off the bent, uh, the uh, bat, rather, Reamer failed to identify where in the world the ball was. Bouncing ball, ricochets off prize glove. It comes to Wilkerson, it's short. Throws to first, and McNelly just stretches that out, and he's safe. Down to third goes Hernandez. The 1-1. Looters line drive into center field. It'll bounce a couple of times before it gets to Honeycutt, and there's a two-out RBI single off the bat of Jonathan Looters that scores Hernandez, and Seton Hall continues to pile on the offense, now leading 7-4. Three balls and two strikes to count to Gale. Soft bouncer back to the mound, Zestawicki gets to it and he gets the job done. A soft toss over to Stokely at first base and that ends the inning. Tournament, that's a 450 average as he takes ball four low and Grohler walks him on five pitches. Base deals towards the plate. Vance slaps a base hit past the shortstop, Looters into left center. Vance has his first base hit of the ball game that pushes Wilkerson to second. And here we go again, Carolina mounting a rally with in a trail by as many as four as Horvath smacks a hard line drive into the gap in right field. That'll roll all the way to the track. One run comes in as Wilkerson makes it seven to five. Honeycutt on a beeline around third base scores and Horvath with RBIs two and three in the ball game. And Carolina just like that right on the doorstep of taking its first lead. The pitch inside ball four, and he lost him. The pitch nowhere near outside. And the bases are loaded again for Carolina as Groller has walked his third this inning. It pushes Horvath to third base. Live to see another day.
Payoff pitch outside, and there's the 12th walk of the ball game issued by Seton Hall. It scores a run. Horvath jogs in from third. And for the first time since the top of the first, Kyle, this game is even. Hawk ropes a line drive to right. Kind of an awkward jump by McNelly, who came in quickly, had to backtrack, makes the catch, and Grinch tags to score. That gives Carolina its first lead of the game, 8-7 on the sack fly by Austin Hawk. A job well done by the freshman. 2-2 from Piero to Reamer. Line drive that bounces, hits the shortstop. Looters in the chest, collects and flips over to Sylvester, covering second, and 6-4. Seton Hall gets off the field. Homer in the fifth, drove in two of the double in the sixth, and he's got another extra base hit. Down the third baseline, rolling all the way to the corner. Horvath around first, he's past second, he's digging for third. Here comes the throw, he's in there. It's a triple for Mac Horvath. He's a single away from the cycle, and the Tar Heels continue to hit in the bottom of the seventh. Two of the Tar Heels, eight runs. Pitch driven on a rope, but right at the left fielder, Gale. And the out recorded to end the inning. The pitch. Ground ball back through the box and into center field. Sylvester wins the battle. And Seton Hall has the leadoff man aboard. Shepard referenced to me earlier this week was from that area as Hernandez belts a single to center. So back-to-back -back base hits for Sylvester and Hernandez. Bunt shown put down in a good one. Third base side of the mound. Can AC make the play? He bobbles the ball and no throw. Bases loaded. Nobody out. Bases for Carolina. As Looters fights off the second pitch, soft fly ball into shallow right. It's caught by Cook. Runner tags from third. Cut off at the mound by Stokely, and the run scores. Sylvester knots the game at eight on the sack fly by Looters. The 1-1. One -one. Matthias fires the fastball. Gale fights it off and scalds it into right field. A run comes in. And going from first to third is McNelly. Seton all has battled back and has retaken the lead at nine to eight. Opportunity to do it. Runner takes off from first, hit and run on. Hack, soft fly ball into left field. Reamer makes the catch. McNelly tags from third. Throw to the plate, little closer than he might have anticipated, but the run scores. And McNelly makes it a two run advantage for the Pirates at 10 to eight. Another payoff pitch, and a ball just missing up and away. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three, got him looking. Outer half, inning over. The pitch, and Honeycutt goes down swinging. It's strike three, and Seton Hall surprises Carolina, winning by a score of 10-8. to eight.